he gonna get whatever he wants, okay? Hello everybody, welcome and welcome back to my channel. All right, if you can see, oh, oh snap, okay, all right. Well, maybe I shouldn't bend down like that, okay? Well, if you can see, I am Rudolph today, all right? So I know we are getting ready for our Black Friday shopping and um, I wanted to do a little something different today. I know a lot of times I talk about, well, <laughs> all the time, I talk about fragrances that are ultra feminine but this time around i wanted to share with you guys some fragrances that i actually have come across during my whole sampling so when i sample i try of course so many uh fragrances some of them i actually do like but i think would be actually better for a guy and i wanted to kind of bring these to you um for those of you who had that man in your life um that you want to shop for for this upcoming christmas black friday will be coming up soon and i figured I'll just let you guys know what are some amazing uh, fragrances for men and they're timeless, they're classic, they will be compliment getters because when I smell them I'm just like hmm. okay these fragrances will catch some eyes I'm sorry they sure will so I have six fragrances that I want to share with you today and um Guys, if you're watching this, let me know if you've tried these before or if you're going to go ahead and, and try them because I think these will be amazing for you guys. I know they're going to get compliments because if I smell a man smell like that, I, if I don't know them, I'll still tap. Hey, you smell really good. You know, not trying to hit on you or anything, but you smell good. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel and also click on that bell so you know of the next time that I upload a video. All right. Let's get started. Okay, you guys, let's start off with Maison de Darius's Notorietta. And I have to hold it like that because the top is very shaky. They had some nerve sending me this with a cap. Anyways, but the, let's focus on the fragrance itself. Um, this is a gorgeous caramel vanilla spray spicy um oud and um i had this in a previous video because i think i think this fragrance is unisex it can go great on a man or a woman this smells like you just want to be in the arms of a man that smells like this you want to inhale all that smooth oud oh that sandalwood, that caramel, that vanilla, he's got it all in his arms. And let me tell you, this is not leaning so feminine that, you know, people would think a woman just passed by. This is a straight down the middle unisex fragrance that I think would be great for a man, y'all. Um, so definitely check this out for the holidays. And this is pretty inexpensive. This is um, $50 and um, you can get it straight from the website. I think right now they're preparing for Black Friday, so they're probably putting their, their sales on hold. But um, this is phthalate free and it's black owned. So definitely check this out, guys. I think this will be an amazing gift um, for that man in your life. The next fragrance I have kind of, okay, so the next fragrance that I have has caramel in it as well, but this is none other than the Means Peregrina, y'all. This is also a unisex fragrance that goes straight down the middle. We have florals in the opening, but there's still some caramel in here. Oh, this also has some musk and powdered um, notes in the base. I think the amber and the myrrh are, are what helps this fragrance be so comforting, but also helps it be able to lean more over to um, the, the masculine side, but there's still not too much of anything. It doesn't lean, you know, too much of either way. And that's what I really, really love about this fragrance. I feel like this is the perfect um, fragrance. It's a signature scent. Oh, all, I think all these are signature scents, but I think this is a perfect powdery, rose and men can wear roses rose fragrances too if it's done the right way i feel like this fragrance is done really really well that myrrh and that amber in here really helps a man be able to wear this this smells like a man is going on a date he's at a special occasion this man will definitely get a compliment that he smells good oh. if a man smells like this and walks by me i'm doing a double take i might even ask him what he's wearing I'm, a man who wears this, I feel, is mature, is understanding, is patient, and is wise. 
He doesn't need to announce he's in the room before he gets there with some crazy uh, over masculine fragrance that make everybody choke out. No, he's just gonna flow in that room and the whole entire room is gonna know the power and the juice that this man has. Yeah, yeah, that's the mean Peregrina. So the rest of the perfumes that I'm gonna mention, I just have samples of. I knew that this would be amazing for a man. Next is Daiquiri Original, and this is by Hez Parfums. And this is a very boozy fragrance. The whole entire heart of this fragrance is all alcohol. So it opens up with orange blueberry and orange blossom. The middle notes are gin, rum, and cognac. The base has some Mysore sandalwood and also some musk. I feel like, this has an element of freshness, but that orange in there, it matches really well with the alcohol that is also in this fragrance. The gin, the um, rum, and the cognac. I can see a man wearing this to a cigar lounge. I can see him probably wearing this on a guy's night out of the town. He's very fresh, he's very clean, he's very proper. This, this does open up citrusy with that orange. I don't smell the blueberry, but I smell that, that cognac, the gin, and the um, rum that's in this fragrance. And it just adds some warmth, some, some masculine warmth to this fragrance along with the sandalwood. It is smooth, and I think this would be really, really great on a guy. Up next is a fun fragrance. This is perfect for, for a date day or a date evening. Something that's, uh, you're going somewhere that's very um, lighthearted and you're expecting to have the time of your life. And um, this is the Great Fragrances Paris and it's called Memories, okay? So I wanna read you the notes because they just sound fun, okay? So it opens up with cherry and blackberry. And in the middle, you have tobacco, olibanum, frangipani. In the base, you have tonka bean and maple sap. I have never heard of maple sap being in a fragrance before. Y'all, you can go on a nature walk with this. You can go on a nice date or first meet and greet. This is something that is very fun. This is a, a time where you're gonna be smiling a lot, where you're gonna be happy, where you're expecting to find some joy and to have a good day. Um, I think this is a very fun masculine fragrance and it has that tobacco note in there. Of course, that to me is what makes this um, very, very masculine. But yeah, I would wanna bury my head in his neck and just inhale this for a while. Okay, so the next cologne, all right, so you know how a lot of the ladies, they like that, um, what is that cola fragrance or something like cola? It's a BDK fragrance. And I think I'll just put it on the screen because I forgot what it's called. This is the male version of that. This is fun. I think this fragrance would be really, really great for a date night. So this fragrance is called Generation Godard, and this is by Toscovat. This opens up with sweet notes. The middle notes are rose, popcorn, Coca-Cola, and paper in the middle. Whoop. What type of combination is that? Like, it's it's one of those things where you just go, er? Like, what is that? But it smells so good together. Oh, okay. So that is, oh, shoot. <laughs> Stop falling off my head, man. Shoot. Okay, so um, in the base, we have tobacco, musk, ambrit, which is musk mallow, labdanum, and paper, you guys. This is perfect for a date night where it's not too hot, not too cold. You're able to still eat outside, take a nice walk at night. That popcorn and Coca-Cola together has me because I feel it's so unique and so different. Forgive me if I say perfume and cologne um, interchangeably because I'm not used to saying cologne. So forgive me. <laughs> yeah. This is a this is a very eclectic fragrance because it's it has Coca-Cola and popcorn together and it has paper in the center and in the base and I feel that it prevents this from being it's not like tonic, but that paper adds some type of freshness. Y'all know what like a fresh piece of paper smells like. There's something there's something fresh about it. I can't put my finger on it, but you definitely smell that in this fragrance. I think it's beautiful. It's different. It's it's fun. Um, yeah, so guys, go ahead and get your nose on this right here. Y'all, this upcoming fragrance right here is ultra 
sexy, okay? Ultra sexy. Woo! <laughs> if you're wearing this, ask me anything and I'll tell you yes. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, all right, this thing keeps falling out my head. This is called Insomnia and it's by Fabio Seferi. And it opens up with caramel, rum, and chocolate, y'all. It seems that I tend to like caramel in men's fragrances because this is the third um, cologne that has caramel in it. But this opens up with caramel, rum, and chocolate, y'all. That just starts off sexy, right? And then in the middle notes, you have here coffee and some creamy ylang ylang. And then in the base, you have Tahitian, vanilla, sandalwood, patchouli, and cedar. Cedar and sandalwood, those type of notes give the feel as if they are soaking up all of the goodness that is in the top in the middle. And it just, it, 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 it covers you like a blanket, okay? This man wearing this fragrance, he can get whatever he wants, okay? This man wearing this fragrance, okay, he could wear this to the boardroom. He's the type that walks into a room. He doesn't have to smile, but his eyes are both kind and serious at the same time. He'll change your life. Lastly, this fragrance, I would say, is an everyday running your errands type of fragrance. So it is called Al Ambra, and this is called Lauren. Mm, this has a bit of green, but it's a sweet green and it's a fresh green. And I would want to smell whiffs of this passing by me any day. This would be an amazing everyday fragrance to wear. This is a classy man. This is a man that has achieved all he wants to achieve in life. And he's just coasting. You know what I'm saying? That's the type of man that's wearing this fragrance. It smells so nice. So let me just read you the notes. The top notes are leather, cotton candy, and berries. Now, I have not run into a masculine fragrance that has cotton candy in it, but this one does, okay? And in the heart, we have apricot, patchouli, olibanum, musky notes, and in the base, we have lily of the valley. So that leather in there is what, to me, makes this fragrance so warm, smooth, and masculine. This is a perfect everyday fragrance for a guy. Just run your errands come to work for a couple hours, pass by real quick, see how everybody's doing. Just spread your your uh your whiffs around. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for staying tuned. Um I really hope you guys, uh especially the males that are watching this video, let me know what you think of the choices that I've made. Um do you have these already? If not, are you interested in trying them? Please comment down below. So, Black Friday is coming and I really, really hope that you guys take uh, my uh, recommendations into consideration, okay? Have your male in your life smelling like the most amazing, sweetest, warmest, most powerful, most fun thing that you've ever smelled. Yeah, I went there. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel. Also click on that bell so you know of the next time that I upload a video. Until the next time you guys, enjoy life and take care of yourselves, okay? Bye.